What is happening, bowlers? Chris Beans here with Bowlers Rant. Today's topic, what is a fair handicap? Okay, so something I've been hearing about all season is how bad handicaps are and people are grumbling about it. Um, and let's let's talk through this. Here's the situation. You show up to league, you got a four-person team, your buddies go get some pizza, you get some sodas, you show up to your lanes and you look at the lineup and you see the opposing team has 250 pins of handicap. And then your face starts to look like Grumpy Cat. Because you know you're going to have to shoot lights out to even remotely have a chance. And that's uh, kind of the situation that we see week in and week out at uh, handicap leagues. And so a lot of people don't like handicap leagues. But there is a purpose to handicap leagues and it's to level the competition. And so I was thinking, does the USBC have anything to say about this? And they do. I found an article. The link is in the description below. You can check this out. The USBC did a study on handicapping. So first, before we talk about that, let's define what handicap is. For those of you who don't know, according to the USBC, I'm going to go to their website right now. The United States Bowling Congress defines handicapping as the means of placing bowlers and teams of varying degrees of bowling skill on an equitable a basis as possible for competition against each other. So that means level the playing field. Okay. And the question was, you know, and it, it's just, it, it is declared in this article, does any handicap used by a league equalize competition? Uh, the results of that question are in this article. The results of an extensive four-year study of handicap leagues, mixed, all women and all men, disclosed that the handicap percentages, 75%, 80%, and 90%, do not achieve this goal as illustrated by the results from the study as follows. So let's pause for a second handicap let's say the base average the base score is 200 and you have a 120 average bowler they're going to get 80 pins assigned to them so their score would equal 200 that's kind of how the logic goes you're not going to always score 200 you're just going to get an assigned amount of pins based on your average if it's below the base score all right so here on the, we're looking at this table now on the usbc and we'll use the uh 90 percent um base uh, handicap percentage where they said 90% of handicap used 11 out of 100 teams would win. And then the people who are above the 200 score, 89 out of 100 would win. So that seems to be kind of unbalanced. So what the USBC is arguing is that you should use a 100% of handicap uh, for whatever the base score is. All right. And they've got some tables in here. You can look at and see what the scores are, how those averages all laid out. So the real, the first question I've got here is for this topic is, what should the base score be for your league? Should it be 200? Should it be 210? Should it be 220? Or should it be 230? How do you know what the right uh, score is to use? And a lot of uh, leagues, what they'll do is they will take the average of the highest scoring bowler uh, for the previous season and use that as the as the as the base, right? And sometimes that's not realistic because sometimes you get some guy in there who's a 240 guy who just steamroads everybody, right? So that's not going to be real realistic. Or maybe it is. It just depends on, you know, what you feel is fair. But a lot of bowlers, um, they go to leagues for your handicap leagues, recreational leagues, and the base is like 215, 220. Okay, cool. But now question number two, which is what should the percentage be of that uh, base score, right? So if you're, again, if your average is 200, should it be 90% of 200? Should it be, uh, you know, 95% of 200? Should it be 100% of 200? And then number three, this is the real big one. Uh, and I was alluding to this when I first started the video, which is when you're looking at a, a lineup that you're so, you know, four person team and you got 250 pins to make up, that's a lot of pins, right? That's like having an extra bowler on the team. And you know, even though they're up and coming bowlers, is that really fair to the opposing team who are your 205, 210, 215 bowlers? That it's a four against five, right? Or if you have to shoot 260 just to make up, you know, a decent score, is that fair? So the question is, should there be a maximum, you know, a cap of handicap uh, pins that are assigned to the team or to the bowler, right? Because what happens is, is you know, you got a 205, 210 guys, they show up, they see that 250 pin mountain, and they get Captain Poopy Pants, and they're like, man, I hate this place. I don't even want to bowl. And that's not what we want. 
So should you have to punish the higher average bowlers? You know, is there a solution to this? You know, is would it, would it for a four person team would the solution look like max of fifty pins per bowler in a four person team? Or in trios, would the solution look like max of fifty five pins per bowler on a three person team? Right? Trying to narrow the scope so you you know you get some balance there. Like you know there is some handicap assigned, but you don't want a mountain of handicap. I've seen mountains like three hundred and twenty, and you're just like it's not possible. Why bother? So these are some good topics. So just to summarize, you know, point number one, what is the best base score to base your league off of? Point number two, what is the best percentage to apply to that score? Is it 80%, 90%, 95%, or should it be 100%? And question number three, should be there be a maximum cap, a cap to pin handicap pins that assigned based to teams or bowlers, right? And what does your league do? You know, should the rules be changed? You know, what do you think it should be? Drop me a comment. Let me know. Let's continue the conversation. More updates are coming. And until then, bow well.